Chris Christie is no hero, but interesting enough, today his commentary on this week was actually pretty good. I take a little bit of exception for Donna Brazil telling him that he has a spine. Well, uh, Chris Christie, while he's telling the truth in this segment here, remember that he developed a spine only after he started to see that Trump was on the decline. This wasn't something that he just in, that that he was inspired to do. Check this out, and then we'll take it on the other side. Donald Trump in the last three weeks, in these between the midterms and the runoff, announces he's running for president. Meets with uh, Fuentes, meets with J Kanye Kanye West Z, or so to call him now, right? Or Yee, whatever. Yeah. And then last night comes out for suspending the Constitution. I, I ask you a version of this question all the time. I don't understand why it's so difficult to come out against someone who's for suspending the Constitution. Well, obviously, neither do I. And and I and I think, you know, look. Uh, this has been the most uninspiring Republican presidential announcement since Fred Thompson. I mean, like, everybody had this anticipation he's going to announce. Nothing has happened since then except bad things for Donald Trump because he is being his post-2020 election untethered self. It should not be hard to say that the 2020 election is over. It should not be hard to say, no, I don't favor a revote. I don't favor the true winner, as he put it, being put into office by some extra constitutional act. This is what kills my party right now is this conversation this morning. We're not talking about issues that American people care about. You and I are sitting here talking about this. And we as a party need to have this open family argument in the public about whether this is the way we need to go as a party. And, you know, we need to have that argument. We need to have it now. Chris, you need a backbone to have that conversation. Here's the issue. Yes, uh, Trump is killing the GOP. That is true. The problem is there is a sect in this country that the GOP represents. It's not that the GOP becomes this way and then, then the people uh, follow. It is the GOP thinking that it must fulfill the will of the people as opposed to saying or being leaders and telling these people this is not the way. Leaders are able to serve and at the same time that they serve, they are able to provide the people who they serve, enhancing them to support their better angels. In other words, yes, the people may be like what the GOP has become. Their supporters may be just that. But a leader knows how to take that goodwill from the people and encourage the people to be their better selves. And that is what has been lacking throughout the GOP, not allowing the people's better selves to come out. We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to, trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join.